This is Josh from CAD International and today I'll be taking you through a quick demonstration of structural steel using the IronCAD mechanical add-on as well as how to create a cut list. Firstly, I'll select the IronCAD mechanical catalog and now I'll drag out a steel section. The dialog box you're presented with allows you to customize that steel section. And we'll leave the sizing the same, change the length to 1000, and place two mitered ends. Now we can just press OK, or we can press the blue button to update in the scene to make sure what we've changed is now what we want. Click OK. Now I'll drag out another section to this corner. As you can see, it will automatically snap into place. Do the same on this corner. And now I'll place a cross beam. We'll press this magic wand button, which will automatically size it to the correct size. And then cut tolerance at each end. As you can see, we press update here. We've cut the tolerance and we can update that tolerance to any size you like. So for example, we could, if we wanted to, leave it at zero. Now with that done, we'll mirror this piece with the tri-ball. Place the tri-ball to the midpoint of this edge and then mirror that part and link it to the other side. Now with that completed, we'll place a frame underneath. Drag out a steel section again. And this time, change the steel section and the size. Click OK. We'll then use the tri ball to position this steel section into place. And then again, use the tri ball to mirror this around the square. And because we've linked those parts, any changes made to one will be reflected in the others. I'll now add two cross beams. Now with this assembly completed, we'll create a 2D drawing and a bill of materials with a cut list. We'll click over to our drawing page Create a standard view. Dimension the view if we like. We'll then create a bill of materials using the cut list template. And as you can see, that's brought through the part number, quantity, description, length, and angle of each piece.